We love classic dishes, but sometimes putting a modern spin on them gives you something really special. Chef Trevor's doing just that in The Daily Dish. So take a look at what you'll need for his take on the classic beef and broccoli, which is a dish I love. But you are going to remix it. Chef, tell us a bit about your spin on this one. Well, anytime we remix, we've got to do a little, little wicka, 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 <laughs> as we get into this new beef and broccoli dish. And I say beef and broccoli it has been sort of that consummate crossover Chinese dish that the Western world and the Eastern world eats when they eat Chinese food. But this one is a really kind of a remixed version for the summertime that makes for a great appetizer. So I'm going to show you how to make a, a new version of it and maybe you can try this at home. Uh, Trace, I got beef here, mm -hmm. a nice little Cana Canadian strip loin, about six ounces. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a little marinade. Okay, so I'm just going to put this into a bowl for marinade. And I've got some light soy sauce. I got a little bit of chili oil because who doesn't like chili oil? Yeah. I've got some cut up scallions or green onions as we call them. And then the last bit of umami is I've got a little bit of what I love, that oyster sauce. But I'm using a vegetarian oyster sauce. If people aren't used to using that, what kind of taste does it give to that dish? Oddly enough, Tracy, it tastes nothing like oysters. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is an umami sauce. It's it's salty and sweet, uh, and it's perfect for, I love putting it in fried rice, and I love it as a marinade or an extra sauce when you're having Asian food. So look, we've got this all marinated. What I wanna do is we wanna cover this, put it in the fridge overnight or a couple of hours, okay? So while we, I'm gonna let that sit there, and I'm gonna get this pan going, because we're gonna sear that soon. We're gonna move to our broccoli part, and we wanna cut them into florets, just small like this. I'm gonna get this pan going. We're gonna add some oil, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some vegetable sauteing before we're gonna do something really special with it. So we're gonna add our broccoli in there. I've got some chopped up garlic. This is the Asian part of marrying with Western world. I've got some Chinese chives, which I love, and my mother would tell you that. And then I've got some chopped up cooking onions. Today we're gonna to use red onions, and we're just gonna let that saute for a bit. And then once that's ready to go, Trace, what we're gonna do is this is gonna basically soften all these vegetables and get them ready for the magic blender slash processor because we're gonna make a broccoli puree. Oh. Okay? There's actually no walk work here. That kind of sounded funny. <laughs> did, you, did, did you ever watch Walk With Walk I with, sure walk did. With Yan, right? Absolutely, that I was watched one of my, it. I kind of feel like I gotta reboot Steven Yan and get one of those aprons that says, walk don't run right remember that <laughs> yeah i loved that show <laughs> so i love that show too for the sake of time this is going to take a little bit of time i actually have some already processed and then we're going to put all that sauteed vegetables into our processor then we're going to add a little bit of veg stock okay and then this is different this is not very asian but we're starting to cook with dairy. We're gonna add a little bit of sour cream okay. for some creaminess. And then, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not a big fan of processors because I'm always afraid of them, but we're gonna try to get this one going. You and me both, buddy. So that's pretty much done. We're gonna leave that there. Now we're gonna get our beef down, Trace. We need a little bit of oil. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna take this marinated beef and we're gonna sear it. Mm. You're going to get that really, really nice sear. We're going to sear it on two, two sides, and if you want, you can take it off, finish it in the oven. I like this beef to be medium rare because we're going to slice it down, and it's going to be a little pinkish on the inside. So, look, the magic of television. Of course I've got a piece already done here <laughs> earlier. He's prepared. We're, gonna, we're prepared. We're going to slice on a bias. I love, we're using strip loin here, and I like to keep a little bit of the fat cap on because I think that little bit of fattiness really helps with the flavor. But we're ready to plate. Now I've got some puree here already done with butter and cream, and we're basically going to put this on a plate. Do you believe this is broccoli? That's My so mom cool. would be like, that's not broccoli. Well, and then we're gonna she just needs to try it. It's going to be very different than uh, what you're used to if you're used to the classic, but what a great idea. You know, it's one of those things where we always got in trouble for not eating our greens, but maybe this is a different way of eating our greens, right? 
If you've got microgreens at home, or if you're one of those people during COVID and you're growing a whole new veggie garden on your windowsill, then pluck a couple of those pretty leaves. I have some sorrel. And that is my new beef and broccoli. Reboot 2021 appetizer summer style. Very cool. I love that you've done that. And I love that you're taking so many dishes. Some of them you are sort of giving them that homage, that traditional homage. And some of them you're saying, you know what, let's mix it up. It looks incredible, Chef. We appreciate that. And the recipe is, of course, on CityLine.tv.